I don't even know if I have enough time to surf today, but... <laughs> Excited, guys, sir. It just was not a good surf, to be honest. It's 7.30. I was trying to get up at 6.30 or even 7. I think I'm going to try to go for a surf this morning if I have time. So I'm going to go make some coffee, get up, and... coffee and I journaled I always do this in the morning if I don't I swear my day is like 10 times worse so now that I've done that I've had my coffee I obviously feel a little more awake but I'm gonna go for a quick little surf before work today I got a part-time job at anthropology so I work today at 3 I need to go pick up my board and stuff from my house and then I'll be on my way want to see my mess is it a disaster but look at the lighting it's so nice okay Here's what I'm working with. I have a pair of jeans here. I think I might, ooh, but the sweats are nice too. I think I might wear the sweats. Oh my gosh, I just caught my camera falling. <laughs> I always like looking cute when I surf, but I don't know if that's possible today. I'm just gonna wear this tank. Then I'm wearing these sweats that my sister got me. I love them so much. And then socks, okay. <laughs> My feet always get so freezing, well my body gets always freezing when I surf, but especially my feet, they do not warm up for like freaking hours, man. I think I'm gonna put this sweatshirt on actually because it's really cold, but I have my outfit picked out for anthropology later, so that's good. Then I just have to kind of like move this. But first I'm gonna take her for a walk, feed her, take care of her, and then I'm gonna leave. take the dog on a walk and she just sometimes refuses to go so we made it a few blocks and then she just would not keep going so I was like all right we're headed back so we headed back um, I was gonna film a little bit but whatever so I'm gonna go pick up my surfboards now my wetsuit and all of my um, surf gear and then gonna oh and eat breakfast and then I'm gonna head over to surf I ordered this shirt from Urban Outfitters it's really cute. Okay, now I need to get ready because it's almost nine. We have yogurt, granola, of course. A couple spoonfuls. I'm doing chocolate chip today. I'm just gonna munch on this while I finish getting ready because... Because I feel like I'm always running late. <laughs> gonna go and have a fun surf this is my like surf kit it has hair stuff it has wax anti-chafe spray everything that you would need well hopefully everything you would need to surf <laughs> TikTok or something saying the worst part about surfing is putting on a wetsuit, which I stand by. I hate wetsuits. But someone was asking to ever put on your wetsuit before you go surfing. I used to do that in Santa Cruz because I lived four minutes away from where I surfed. But I have like a 30 to 40 minute drive. So no, I don't anymore. I don't want to be sitting in a wetsuit for that long. All right, Harper, you got to go inside. All loaded up. Ready to go. Ooh. I should have put this in the back. 
I love putting on hyphy music before surfing, so I'm gonna do that. Can you tell I'm really excited to go surf? So, here we go. Also, if you're having a hard week, I feel you, okay? I just had like the craziest week and I couldn't really do anything for myself. I was prepping for an interview, I was working, I was doing granola, it was too much. But if you get over the hurdle, go take some time and do stuff for yourself because I feel like it's really important. Honestly, I don't even know if I have enough time to surf today, but I'm like, I need to do it because I haven't done anything for myself recently. So take the as your sign, take care of yourself. If that means going for a surf, staying home, binging a TV show, which I do sometimes, reading a book, taking a walk, going on a hike, do something for yourself this week because we gotta take care of ourselves, you know? dropping this but obviously better than nothing let's go check it out though i'm gonna go check the surf but i'm just gonna take an electrolyte before because i'm so out of shape i already know it's just like a tap okay. so i went and checked the surf and it was so flat i don't think i've ever seen waves here smaller but that's the thing if i lived five or ten minutes away i would have easily turned around and just not have paddled out but I paid a $7 bridge toll and drove 30 minutes to get here, so I knew I had to go out. I know my feet just get so cold, especially when walking over like the rocks. The rocks yeah. I go like this. Oh, wow. There you go. I'm all suited up gonna grab my board and paddle out. I have one hour, so I'm gonna try to catch as many waves as I can. I stayed out for an hour and a half. There were so many lulls and it just kept getting more crowded, which didn't really make sense because the waves sucked. But once the surf school paddled out at the end and kept getting in the way of all my waves, I knew it was time to paddle in. from the store there's, there's like a grocery outlet right next to Pacifica I've never tried these and I've always wanted to these are just the matcha pocky pokey pocky I call it pocky I don't know if that's correct okay let's let's try that I really don't know if I like those so it was a pretty mid slash it just was not a good surf to be honest there were so many lulls. I forgot to check the tide before going out and that's just important, I guess, for that spot. because the waves were not breaking and then it's Saturday, I knew it was gonna be super busy. It was so crowded and then a surf school came out and I got a couple good waves at the end, but two waves that I got, there was like a surf school guy like boogie boarding on the waves so I couldn't really do anything. But it happens. Glad I gotta get out there. It's a beautiful day. And now I'm stuck in traffic. 